So it's just as easy pretty much as pulling this off. So that could be all right. All right, so we'll just give that roof a bit of a paint. As you can see, same color. G'day folks, Mike here, Everyday Part of Life. Today we're just gonna take it a little bit more easy. We're not sort of going out adventuring off anywhere, but today we've, uh, we've got to head down and grab some plants because as you can see here, We've done a little bit of circle, made a little bit of a garden around where the tree feeder, which I made, and uh, you probably saw maybe in the last video, I think. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get down there to uh, Bunnings, grab some nice plants, and uh, yeah, we'll get uh, maybe Ira will plant them today. Maybe me, I don't know. I think I might even have to uh, fix the uh, the roof on the bird feeder where the birds have scraped it all off. But anyway, it should be a little bit of fun, a little bit of our day. So yeah. I think we should get going to Bunnings and go and see what plants we can get. All right, folks, let's go. Let's start today's adventure. So we're in here at Bunnings. We've come to look for some plants or flowers, and uh, like we said before, but Ira, what were you actually looking for? Some plants, some flowers for the new garden place. Yeah, for summertime, for colorful in the garden. So just getting it prepared to match the other part of the garden. Get a bit of color up, make it look good. Yeah. And of course the birds will probably be happy with the bird feeder just up above as we saw, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to have a little look for some, some plants here, what we can find. Alright, come on Ira, let's go and have a look. Come on. Yeah, so whenever you come to Bunnings, there is just so many plants and trees that's that's on offer and you can buy them. Whenever we come in here, we always look at the uh, the weeping cherry tree. Uh, this is the snowy fountains, but yeah, I think we might have to leave this one for today. That's actually $169, so it'd be a good time to probably plant that. That's got a few buds on it ready to go, but yeah, it might be a little bit big, but yeah, that's for another day, I think. We'll keep searching. All right, so Ira spotted a lilac bush, I think, and this is what it's gonna actually look like. So that could be all right. I think we're, we might uh, replace one of our, uh, what is it? A rosemary. Oh, we've got a rosemary bush out the front, and it sort of just grows too much, so we were thinking about replacing that, maybe putting the old uh, lilac bush in there, which would be quite good. But we'll see at, uh, at the end, what we end up buying.
So if you're after some pots, they have definitely got you covered here. I'm not sure whether Ira actually wants to get a pot. She was talking about a, um, a pot plant for the next to the studio, but we'll see, but have a look at that. They've got everything covered. All right, so what else we need? We need a little bit of uh, soil, a bit of, uh, I don't know, chicken or cow manure, something like that. Just so uh, when we plant them, we can put a little bit of goodness in there as well. And maybe for the pot plant, we can put in there and it'll be good. So it looks like she's already spotted some. All right, let's go and uh, grab some of that. It's not just the plants that we've got to come to have a look at. We've got to get the weed and feed for the grass because you, you always get the uh, the weeds and that in the grass. So we want to try and tidy that up as well. So it looks like we might have found something just here. So we're back from Bunnings, we got our haul, and yeah, we got a little bit more than we probably anticipated, but that's okay, we can use some of it uh, in a different place. But anyway, let me show you what we, what we got first. We got these for our plants and flowers around the little garden section. We got a couple of these, they're petunias, so beautiful little color, and of course, they're ready to grow, and they'll be right by spring. So there's six in each, in each punnet. We got two of those. So that's not too bad, that'll go quite well. And we've got these beautiful little regal blooms. So if you have a look at the colour of that, just a nice, oh, a nice uh, warm red with the yellow in the middle. So that'll, that'll look uh, quite beautiful as well. That's about all the plants we got, just for that little section, because we've got some native, some native flowers and all that. So uh, she's already put the seeds in there and they'll come up and they'll look fantastic as well. But we couldn't go past, we had to get some Coloured lights for the studio. We just hang them. We've got some of them, but they were old. We've got some new ones, so they light up fantastic at night time. And you can see them through the window, and it really looks good. What else did we get? We've got a little bit of feed for the plants and everything as well. A little bit of blood and bone. We got some weed and feed. That's to get all those pesky weeds and whatnot out of the lawn, so that'll help feed the lawn. We got our compost. Got one bag of that. Got some cow mixed manure blend, so that'll be all. That'll be all good. Stick a little bit of that in with the plants and anything in the pot plants as well. So that'll be good. And also because we like a a bit of lights and a little bit of colour around when it gets dark, we got a couple of these solar lights, and that's sort of what they look like there. So they like a they're like a little fire that goes in there that color anyway but that's really good but that's our haul that we got down there today now that came to a cost of about 84 dollars so i suppose yeah a little bit but we, we we did get a fair bit so that wasn't too bad but our next step is to get those plants in the ground uh in that little garden section and of course try and fix the roof on the bird feeder because the birds are just if you see the uh, probably the last video, you'll see how the birds all stand on the top and they sort of scraped it all off. So I want to probably take that roof off, make a new one, paint a new one, stick that back on so it looks nice and fresh, have the flowers in, and it look, should look uh, cherry ripe and uh, just wonderful. But uh, yeah, I think our, our next step is uh, to get to work and to get some of this stuff started, put the plants in, fix the roof. 
All right, let's see how we go. Okay, folks, let's get on to the next section. All right, so we're here. Ira's there. She's going to uh, get ready to do the planning. I've got to get this off. As you can see, the birds, they've just wrecked it a little bit. And of course, doing that, the water gets in. So it's just as easy, pretty much as pulling this off. There we go. And that's one part of the roof. We'll do the other. We'll go and uh, cut a new one. And we'll whack that on. So while I go and do that, Ira's here. She's starting to prepare the ground for the new plants that we got. So that should be quite all right. And have you, and if you have a look, we're getting a little bit of a pink blossom coming out on there as well. So that's going to be pretty. And once the uh, bird feed is done, all the flowers in, that'll be fantastic. All right, while she's doing that, we'll go and make the new top. All right, so it's as simple. We've got our roof, just got our board, got the old knife, and it's just as simple as one, two, three. Just keep cutting it, both sides. Just keep doing that, cut it through, and we'll get a new piece of roof. And we'll get the paint, we'll give you that a little bit of a paint. And then uh, be right to go back on. Right, so we'll just give that roof a bit of a paint. As you can see, same color. Just seals it from the weather, the rain, especially through our winter. All right, so let's get this going. So while the paint is waiting for dry, we're going to come and check out and see what young Ira's up to. I think she's got the plants ready to go in the ground. So these are the petunias, Ira? Yes, this is petunias. Okay, so what have you decided to design? Just a circle? Yes, just a circle. <laughs> All right, sounds, sounds good, sounds good. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, so we've got six in there, so we need to break those up. Six, we had the two, so that'll make 12. So as you can see, they'll just go around and around, and then it'll end up looking quite pretty. So it's all in the preparation, folks. It's a matter of trying to space them out, get the uh, even spacings between them. As you can see, Iris placed them probably about 30 centimeters apart, so. rooftops all fixed all made brand new all painted Ira's done some of the garden down there now all we've got left to do is put the new roof on the bird feeder all right let's go and do that pretty simple still got the, new, the same spots just got to level that up a little bit Pretty simple, especially when they go in. Level it up. All right, that's one up, let's get the other.
All done. Ripper. All right. So we've got the birdhouse done. That's finished. We've got the garden done. And Ari, you're happy about that? Absolutely. So have a look at that, folks. That's, that doesn't look too bad. We've got all the petunias around the outside. And, of course, then there's another circle of wild flowers there. And, of course, we've got the birdhouse roof all repaired. So that looks fantastic. Pretty happy with that. But, yeah, that was just another day in our lives, what we were doing today. Off to Bunnings, got the flowers, did this, did birdhouse. And today perfect day for this because tomorrow and the day after will be rainy. Be rain. So it was pretty good that we got this done today. And of course the birds will be happy because we can put more feed out there for them and uh, the feed will stay dry. But that's about all we've got for mm -hmm. this time, folks. As I was doing, she's checking the feed. Of course, it's, the feed's in there, the birds, they're always coming, so they'll be happy. But uh, yeah, that's about all we've got for for you guys out there today don't forget like subscribe comment share all that type of jazz uh yeah if you want to join the uh, everyday family head down the links are below and of course if you want to purchase our uh photos that we take on our uh, adventures they're all digital photos so you can uh, check those out in the links below in our etsy store iris etsy digital store art. and mine and of course iris got some new digital art up on both of our stores so check that out but that's about all we've got for. It's getting dark and uh, we need a coffee. All right, folks, that's about all we've got for, for this episode. And so, so until next time. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. And we'll see you in the next video.